The chief of defense staff states that Nigerian security challenge is temporal, which will soon become history. He speaks on the incident in Delta states. Lieutenant Colonel Ali, of recent, because we have emphasized we want the oil production of Nigeria to increase so that we will be able to have enough foreign exchange and then things can really go down because we all know the challenges we are going. And so he insisted that all illegal activities within the general area must stop. So he directed all his troops and they were stopping all this illegal bunkering, stopping all these things, and then these are the people benefiting from it. And so when this issue came, I think it came as an opportunity for them to also do and do it all with him. We know who did, who did it. We are following up on him, and it's just a matter of time. We're sure we're going to get him. Because they took away again arms. We must get those arms back. The armed forces is therefore soliciting for the cooperation of all Nigerians to win the fight and defend the territorial integrity of the nation. Members of the Committee on Defense acknowledge efforts of the military in safeguarding the nation, calling on the government to equip the Nigerian police to handle internal security in synergy with other security outfits. Nigerians are tired of excuses. As representatives of the people, we can tell you authoritatively that they are yearning for definitive results and an end to this myriad of security challenges. This committee realizes that these results can only be achieved at a cost, at a cost. A contemporary, well-equipped, well-trained, well-resourced, and adequately motivated armed forces. The committee also condoled with the military over the Delta State incident. In Abuja, Issa Muhammad, NTA 